Hey guys, and welcome back to Brute Force. When we last left off, we, uh, yeah, we was doing the Strike Rogues, which is actually quite a short and sweet mission. It was fun. I, did I just say that? It was fun. It was fun. I enjoyed that mission. It was good. It was short and sweet. I think this uh, game is best when the missions are short and sweet. Short and sweet. Huh. Short and sweet. So, anyway, here we are. The final mission of the guy. Final. <laughs> I think I may have drunk too much coffee today. I'm buzzing. Actually, I'm buzzing. It takes a lot of coffee to get me buzzing as well these days. So, we're on the final mission of the game. The Anvil. Which is interesting. This is going to be the final video of the game. Unless this is one of those, like, six-hour long missions. Which, I wouldn't be surprised. So, let's get into it. Uh, yeah, we're going to be Tex, because why not? Listen closely. We've depended on the four of you. You're the best the Confederation has ever put together. Uh -oh. <laughs> and you're the best I've ever had the honor to command. Thank you, sir. Thank all guys, our journey. Indeed. I say these things to the four of you because I'm proud. But there's one task left that's asked of you. The entire Shrike invasion force is due to arrive within days. The Confederation's only hope for defense is to destroy that outpost on LB-429 before they fortify it. We make the difference. And if not? The Shrikes head to Caspian, fuel their ships, and demolish Earth. We're waiting for orders, sir. This is a shield generator. Take them all out, and the shield that protects the outpost goes down. Use explosives and blow all the generators to hell. You know, most soldiers live their entire lives never having had an opportunity like this. The Confederation lies in your hands. It's as simple as that. Wait, I, I get the feeling that they're... Knock out those shield generators and we'll bring in the flyboys. The flyboys. This is it. I've lived and died my whole career for moments like these. You'll probably get to die again on this rock. <laughs> probably. The spirits will rejoice at the end of this day. And we might get to see them. Okay. I'm getting the feeling that they've skipped large chunks of the story. Because, okay. So, apparently the Shrike are this massive force heading towards Earth. And the Confeds have no chance of stopping them. Isn't the Confed like this galactic, massive military that I assume has loads of ships? I mean, we could clone soldiers. We comprised of a few alien races. And how does destroying this station stop their full-scale invasion? Yeah, there's, there's huge pieces of plot missing here but hey we've got the rail cleaver updated the shield Ooh, shell is on the other nice. side of those cliffs you'll need to find a passage all right let's go let's not question the story too much could have been a really interesting like kind of story but I guess they just glossed over so much of it. Considering like how many levels and how long this game is, they were very light on the details. Right, well, I like the fact that we've got this rail cleaver thing. Now, well, let's go to town on these guys. Get ready to take cover. Yep, yeah, well, where we're going, there's no need for cover. Ooh, what's down here? Guys, I've included an organic sensor which will help you see in dark places. Yeah, well, luckily it's not that dark in here. So that's fine. Suppose we should probably at least try this organic sensor. All right. It's cool, I suppose. I'm not a huge fan of the effect, to be honest. Now, why wouldn't mind? Actually, he had a railgun. 
Yes! Now we have two railguns. And because, for some reason, we have this other railgun that allows us to hold, like, double the ammo. Okay, so how comes there's a huge wind-up animation of putting the organic sensor on? Hello. But it's instant off. That's kind of... You know, stop questioning the game, Titan, for fuck's sake. Stop trying to... Woo! Okay. Medic. Medic. Yeah, there are no medics, buddy. You're your own medic. Ooh. Hey. Spicy boys. Oh! I'm going to restart the mission. Just because I was looking forward to enjoying text with, like, two fucking railguns. God damn it. Especially this new fancy one. And... Uh, God damn it. Right, okay. Yeah, cool story, bro. Cool story. Don't fall into the ooze would be our, our main objective here. Don't fall into the ooze. Alright. Okay. Oh, hey, pal. Welcome to the party, pal. Boom. Gonna need a medic and there's no, like, melee attack. I think this game would have benefited from a melee attack. Nice. I've included an organic sensor, which will help you see in dark places. Yeah. We're actually going to use the sensor. Because why the fuck knuckle not? Although the effect is pretty weak source. Yeah, because you can't really tell when the enemies are dying because they're just like an orange blob. Oh, hello. This stuff wasn't here. This stuff wasn't here before. Fuck sake! Like, if an enemy is too close to you, you can't hit him. You just shoot over the top of him. <gasps> we have two rail cleavers. Holy shit. Hey, wait. So where does this go then? Hmm. Let's keep going down the rabbit hole, shall we? That's what I like. Ah. Oh god, there's another rail cleaver. Oh, you sneaky son of a fucking bitch. Okay, how do we one man killing machine? That is dirty. That is extremely dirty, but I like it. Cool, let's go. Right, let's rock. Let's rock. Duke Nukem would be a good fit for this game. <gasps> Guys, I know what we're going to be playing next. Although, that's kind of hard to say, because at the time of me saying that, how many Let's Plays do you think I have uh, in the bank at the time of recording this? I've got three fully recorded Let's Plays in the bank, ready to go up. Whoa! No. Oh, that's so cheap. Yes, I should have remembered that, but... Come on. Guarding this position. Oh, fuck's sake. Okay. Updated. All right, well. Oh, man. Uh, 
I don't care. Look, just kill us all so we can have. Uh, you know, I want I want tax back. Kill us. Look, when you. When you want to die, it's like impossible. And the enemies have stormtrooper fucking accuracy. Look how inconsistent the damage is on the weapons. Yes, good. Hurry up and die, Brutus. Okay? Because I want Tex back. Yeah, we're in the minus figures. Uh, yeah, you follow like a good boy. We got our cleaver back. Un fucking believable. I think I heard something. Like oh, did you? Dude, that guy was hardcore. Who started with the plasma cutter? Or the plutonium cutter? And you're now telling me where is there it is. That's where we died. Grab it. Cool. I just want two rail cleavers, for fuck's sake, because that's so much to ask. I mean, obviously. Oh! The hell did you come from? Well, you're dead now. Looks like these guys are using a lot of rail guns as well, which is good, because we're going to need the ammo. Ah. <sighs> Seriously? Where are they? They're way off in the distance. Suffering minor wounds. Okay. And they're literally using pinpoint accurate rocket launches on us. Oh, yeah, baby. Yeah, right. I find this these weapons quite exciting as well. Whoa, yosh! Okay, everybody can see that. He is shooting through the cover. They're shooting through the cover, guys. They're literally like... They, they're starting to resort to hiding gun turrets. They're literally... Is that going to kill us? Oh, right, okay. I know it's the last level. But, come on. Literally hiding. Gun turrets everywhere. Right, you're gone. I I can't even see where this thing is. You're starting to piss me off. Yeah, well, fuck off then. Wasn't my choice you were here. Look at all this ammo. Medkits. Okay. So. Let's see how many more cheap deaths we can get. Before we're through. Ugh. All right, follow me, ladies and gentlemen. How many medkits we got? 16. That's good. What's the betting that there's going to be, like, rocket launcher guys spawning above us? I'm gonna need a medic pretty yeah, well, we don't have medics. We've never had medics. We've been over this. Whoa. I do like these rail drivers. Although it does have to be said... They definitely don't seem like they do any more damage than anything else. Just like all the other weapons in this game. Did that actually kill him? I don't know if that's a different one. No, I guess it wasn't. Yeah, so grenades really don't do... Well, gas grenades are shit. All the other grenades aren't too bad. But gas nades are just ass. No wonder sending us into war with this kind of equipment. 
Um, how the fuck did... Okay. Surprise, motherfucker. Yeah, you can see the shots are just going through the enemies. Which makes sense for a railgun. A railgun should go through the enemies. <laughs> it should go, well, more than through the enemies. It should go through any kind of organic now material, like paper. I have to say, though, these smoke effects, like volumetric kind of effects here, are very nice. When you, Say hello to my little friends. When you consider it's the original Xbox. Right, let's go. Nice. Your ass is grass. Oh, God. Medkit, medkit. Come on. Sonic nade. Go. And another. Ah, we got him. Oh, fuck. I'm taking damage. Okay, that was really weird, the way that grenade went off. I was pushing the button Let's to see. disarm it. Okay. Right, well, let's go, guys. We do kind of want to attack these turrets, but I can't see them. Can't see the enemies either. Medkit, medkit, medkit. Yeah, we just had one. Medkit. Oh, man. Why? Hang on. There we go. Why are these dudes not following me? Squad, I've got the lead. Yeah, there's just way too much fire coming from that place. Let's back up. Where are we being shot from? Where are... Where's the other... The rest of the squad? They're supposed to be following. Okay, I literally have no idea where the rest of the squad is. And where did you come from? Oh, man. We're just going to chew through all of our medkits. You, pal. I'm guessing you're up here somewhere. No, I... Oh, here they come. Like seven hours late. <sighs> Alright, well, due to the... There we go. There's one gone. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to fight back. But the frame rate is resisting. No, it's not. Nothing is over. Right, another turret down. Come on. Come on, guys. Come on. Oh, I can't see where the turrets are. God. Literally, like... The game design, like the designers went out of their way to make everything as irritating as they possibly could. Like, where even is the turret? Oh, there's also, like, enemies hiding behind there. Oh, fuck's sake. They're just getting shot at, like, no shit's given. Okay, I feel like we hit... Like, where are these turrets? There's one. Another one gone. Notice how they've put mines as well, where you would take cover. So get out the fucking way, just a suggestion. You shouldn't have to micromanage the team like this. Oh, for fuck's sake. Give, come here. She really was not going to use a medkit. No medkits. We've literally gone through all of our medkits. Oh, get out of the way. All right. Okay. I mean, what kind of tactics could you actually use here to make that any easier? 
There isn't any. <sighs> I was waiting for the bullshit. Alright, okay. Cool. I don't actually know where. Did we just get shot through the wall? Pretty sure we just got shot through the wall. I'm being fired on. We need a lock on their position. Okay. Let's go. I feel no pain. Good, I'm glad you feel no pain. Like, that guy is sniping us from, like, the other side of the map. Look at that. Okay, cool. God, got through it, at least. Okay. The Anvil, Chapter 2. Ah, medkits. Right, one second, guys.